Good morning, everyone. We are outside. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm so happy to be sitting outside having a little coffee this morning. I haven't been able to sit outside for the longest because if you live in the Midwest, you know what I'm talking about. The cicadas, it's insane. The chorus of just screaming all day long until about eight o'clock at night. For some reason this morning, all I can hear is wind, birds, and my wind chimes. So that is such a great thing. I don't know. I heard that if the weather is in the 60s, which it's about 69 right now, that they kind of like go to sleep or something. I don't know what they do, but I don't hear them right now. So I wanted to come outside, have a little bit of coffee, and introduce the videos. So today, being that it's Friday, we're going to be doing a meal prep video. I do my meal prep on Friday now. I used to do it on Monday, but what I found was that by Wednesday, I had to meal prep again. And, you know, I don't mind meal prepping twice in a week, but if I meal prep on Friday, I am far more likely to stay on track with no sort of, well, I'll just go out to lunch and eat this, that, or the other. I'm far less likely to do that if I meal prepped on Friday because then I know I have things that I made that I want to eat. Like, for example, we're going to be meal prepping today chicken chili. And this one is so good. This is a quick, easy, I, I say quick and easy because you basically dump everything in a crock pot but you do cook it all day, making it easy because your hands off, like set it and forget it type thing. So we're gonna make cheesy chicken chili with a little bit of corn in it. I love this one. I will look forward all weekend to eating that. And we're also gonna be doing an herbed turkey tenderloin. And we're gonna make a very, very, very simple dessert. So I'll have things that I can eat for the next, over the weekend, and then maybe a next day or two. And from there, I will cook, which is not a problem. I love cooking. So, thanks for being here. Let's jump into the meal prep. For today's meal prep, I'm going to be doing chicken chili. This is going to be a little tiny bit different than the chicken chili that I've made in the past, which is fabulous. I absolutely love it, but I'm going to make it just a little bit different this time. So you need your crock pot, and I've got about a pound and a half of chicken, which is the equivalent of three very large chicken breasts. So I've got those here going in the crock pot on high, heated up. Those are already seasoned with salt, pepper, and just a little bit of smoked paprika. That's pretty much all that I have on those. So I've got those started. I like to get those started for about an hour, just because you know it's chicken. I like to get make sure that's cooked through, which it will be, but that's just me. You can definitely just throw it in all together on low, but I like to start the chicken on high. And then I've got one medium-sized onion that I chopped. We're going to use one block of Philadelphia cream cheese. This is the one-third less fat. Two cans of fire-roasted garlic tomatoes. You can use any kind of tomatoes you want. We're going to do one to two tablespoons of the vegetable better than bouillon. That is to taste. You can eliminate it. You can add one. You can add two. It's really whatever you like in terms of flavor. We're going to do one can of Great Northern Beans. You can use any white beans. If there's not enough beans in there, I will add another can. But usually one is enough because this is a thick, delicious, cheesy chili. Then we're also going to use a packet of taco seasoning. One entire jar of hatch chili. I picked this up. I should call it hatch salsa. That's what it's called. These are chilies. Hatch, chil hatch chilies, if you were unfamiliar, are... Paige is laughing over here because I can't talk. If you're unfamiliar, hatch chilies are not hot. They're barely even medium. They're really good. I love the taste of them. So you'll do one entire jar of that. And then 
I am going to take this leftover corn on the cob and I'm just going to get it off of the cob and drop it into the chili. I think that'll be a nice addition. So we're going to get all of this in the crock pot and we're going to let it cook. Now if you're going to do this on low, you could cook this for about eight hours and you're going to want to go through once it's cooked and I'll show you that and break up your chicken. But this is how we get started. All right, we've got the chicken about a quarter of the way cooked. I put the corn in there and onions, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the ingredients in. This is looking wonderful. Now, full transparency, I took my grandkids up to the pool, so I had to run home and break the chicken up, so I didn't get to show that to you. That was me clanging that. I use this, obviously. And all you do is you go in through and just break the chicken up. So this is ready. This looks so good. It smells so good. So, oh, there's a piece I missed. But that's all you want to do is go through and break it up. Now, you might be thinking, what happens if the beans get broken up? Who cares? It's still delicious. It actually makes it taste even better. So, this is what you want. And let me tell you, this is going to be wonderful tonight for dinner. second protein of the week, I'm going to be doing turkey tenderloin. Now this is one you see on my channel all the time, but things that work, work. And I tend to make them over and over. So I am seasoning the turkey tenderloin with this all-purpose seasoning. It's really good. Zero carbs. And it's got a ton of flavor. It looks like there's a little bit of cane sugar in there, but not enough to affect the carbs. So that works for me. It's called Butcher's All-Purpose Seasoning. It's just kind of garlic, salt, pepper. Delicious. And we're going to throw that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 minutes. And here we are 35 minutes later. This comes out perfect every single time. Turkey will take on anything that you season it with. So always feel free to season with whatever you want. I haven't found anything I don't like it with. I was showing you there I like to do like a foil pack so that the turkey steams. And that just ensures that this turkey tenderloin is absolutely never dry. It's always perfection. Now what I like to do is take one of them, cut it up, and that'll be two servings for meal prep for the week. Look at that. Look how good that looks. And then the other one I will also cut up and set aside. I'll add a little bit of barbecue sauce and mayo to that, and I'll turn it into like a little barbecued turkey salad. I like to do that in a wrap. It is delicious. And then for a little sweet treat dessert for the week, we're not making anything too complicated. This is what I'm in the mood for. It has been a hot summer beginning already. So this is perfect. Like I said, my meal prep is very, very simple. And in that light, we have Jello. How easy is Jello? Now listen, some of you may think that Jello is difficult to make. I promise you that if you follow the directions on the box, you will not have any problems. My daughter tells me that she can't make Jello because it doesn't set up. And I always tell her, follow the directions, don't wing it on how much a cup of boiling water is, and you'll be perfectly fine. So that's what I'm having. This is raspberry sugar-free Jello. Nothing too complicated. Absolutely perfect for the week. Can't go wrong with that. And maybe, maybe I'll make a little bit of whipped cream out of heavy whipping cream and just sweeten it with a little bit of Swerve Confectioner's Sugar. But this is done, you can see. I just have a little jiggle in that. I made this last night. 
And we're all set for the week. 